Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. What we're going to do today is talk about how to deal with time and dates in PySimple GUI. Um, here we've got an example application. Um, we can basically use the calendar element, which is the main way that we um, input times and dates into PySimple GUI. We can use it to select a given date and time, and then that gets stored in input, and we can use that data to do it whatever we want. Um, in this case, we're just going to calculate the time difference between the date of departure and the date of arrival. And in this case, that's almost perfectly seven days. So let's go ahead and let's look at some code and see how we can deal with this. So in order to create this application, um, the first thing we're going to do, as usual, is just import uh, PySimpleGUI. It's SG. And importantly, we're going to import uh, the date time object. That should be SG. Um, the date time object is native to Python. It's actually not really related to PySimple GUI, but that is the main set of tools that we can use to um, work with PySimple GUI or work to work with time in PySimple GUI. Um, next, what we're going to do is create a standard layout to deal with this. So we'll just say layout equals a 2D array right there. Um, and then we're going to have our first input, which is going to be a calendar. Well, we're going to have an input element, which is going to be this one right here. Um, so we're going to have input, um, and that's just going to be a regular text input. So we'll have our key of departure. And we're just going to give that a size of about 20, just so we have enough space for the date and time. Um, and then after that, we're going to have our calendar button. So we're going to have calendar button, um, and we'll just call that date of departure. So that's the um, basically what goes in this button right here. So date of departure. Um, we're going to have close when date chosen. And let's just go ahead and actually put this on the second line. Um, so we're going to have close when date chosen so that after we close that uh, calendar modal that you saw, um, the date is chosen. And our target is going to be um, something with the key departure. And by that something, we mean uh, this right here. So basically that means that whenever we choose something right here, that's going to get stored into this input right here, this input field. And that's what the target is for. Um, and next we're going to have location zero, 00. This actually means that when we open up, well, let me just go ahead and finish that properly. Um, this actually means that when we open this up, it gets shown at location zero, 00. Um, that's kind of just the default. Um, we could put that wherever we want, closer to our application, um, really whatever we desire. And then no title bar. And this applies to that calendar that's opening up. And we'll close that with a parentheses right there. Um, uh, there's obviously something wrong right here. Let's see, SG input. Oftentimes dealing with PySimple GUI, this is the most, this can be the most maddening part. Okay, uh, probably this we needed. We just had an extra parentheses in there that we didn't need. All right, so we're gonna have the same thing for our uh, next input. So we'll go ahead and copy paste that. And this one is going to be for arrival. Um, so actually, let's go ahead, now that we figure out what the problem is, let's go ahead and do that. Um, so this one's going to be for arrival. So we're talking about this particular input field right here. Um, so we're going to change that to date of arrival. And we're going to change our target to arrival to match up to this input right here. Let's go ahead and let's also just hit enter right there so we can kind of see these elements separately. That's going to be held in another array. Um, it's going to be in one array because they are on the same line right next to each other. And the last thing you want to do is you want to display some text to show the time difference. And we're just going to create a text, create a label, sg.text, uh, time difference. Let's go ahead and create this comma and then this comma. Um, and we're going to create another text field to actually to display the actual data for the time difference. So let's go ahead and do that now. Um, that's going to be another text field, sg.text. 
um, and we'll have size equals 22. Um, we'll set the font to Helvetica. Size 20, just make it a bit, bit bigger than normal. We'll display it in the center. And we'll give it a key. Okay, and that's this field right here. So let's go ahead and let's create a button for calculating the difference. Along with our exit button. Okay, so we've created our layout. Um, now we're gonna get into more of the heavy lifting. Um, we're gonna create the window, so we're gonna say while true. Um, and then event comma values equals window dot read. This is all actually pretty standard. Uh, if you've seen any of these videos, then you've seen these couple of lines here before. Um, and exit. Okay. Cool. All right. And elif event equals calculate difference. So basically, we're going to react to someone clicking on this button right here. Um, then we're going to say difference equals the result of some function that we haven't calculated yet. So arrival, departure, difference. And then we're going to take as input um, the values from these fields. It's so basically what we have right here and right here. So we would have values departure. And we'd have values arrival. So let's go ahead and we also need to create window, which we kind of forgot to create. Um, to take our layout and to put it into a window. So we'll say window equals sg dot window. And then calendar followed by our layout. Um, and even for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create this function arrival departure difference. And this is where we're gonna take in our input data from right here and basically turn it into something that Python can utilize, um, basically take basically take this and Pythonify it, so to speak, um, so that Python can deal with it as time and not just as strings, which they are right now, um, and then calculate the difference. So first we're gonna say uh, def uh, is, well, we're gonna write, well, okay, yeah, let's, we'll say def arrival departure And then we'll have departure string and arrival string. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create an object that corresponds to this string. And that's gonna be what's a, called a date time object, um, which basically holds a certain date and time. And then we're going to do the same thing for the arrival string. Um, so the way we're gonna go about doing this is we're gonna say departure object uh, equals date time dot um, taking in basically this string, which is going into this function. So we'll say departure string. Um, and then we're going to create, so this is probably the most complicated part. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and type this out and then we'll talk a little bit about what this means. So we have capital Y uh, M uh, D then we're going to have a percentage sign followed by H uh, M and S okay um, so what this is is this is a string that matches up our values in our departure string 
um, directly with years, months, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So let me just go ahead and take this and copy this right here. Um, so this is actually what we input, right? Or this is an example of input from our PySimple GUI modal. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, and so basically what we're, what we're telling Python is that you, Python is going to receive a string that looks like this, okay? And when it does, it needs to analyze this string and it needs to store um, the first value, this first numerical value as a year. Um, then, it should, then it should know to expect a hyphen. And then the next value is going to be the month. It's going to expect another hyphen. The next value is going to be the day. It's going to expect a space. Um, the next value is going to be the hour in that particular day. It's going to expect a colon, and then it's going to get minutes, and then a colon, and then seconds. So basically what this is doing is this is telling Python how to analyze this particular string, um, how to analyze this string and turn it into a date that it can work with. Um, and generally, the way that that's stored in, in, um, in Python is as a Unix timecode. So it's just a series of seconds from, I think it's like something sometime in 1973. It's kind of random, but it has its own way of very accurately storing um, any, any particular point in time. And these codes, actually, there is a whole list of these codes online um, in the Python documentation. Like if you just Google like Python uh, time characters, um, and or you just basically type in this, like you just take this and copy into Google, then you can see a whole list of these. Like this capital Y pretty universally stands for a date. Um, the lowercase m stands for a month. Um, the h stands for hours. Um, and this is probably a capital H, I think, instead of a lower H because it stands for hours out of 24 hours rather than out of the 12-hour system. So this is something if you want more information on, you can look, at, you can look up. But if you're working with PySimple GUI and specifically the calendar button, this format will match any string that you put in. Um, so we're going to just going to do the same for our arrival object. The format is going to be exactly the same right here. So we don't really need to worry about changing anything. Um, we'll just say arrival object and then arrival string. And then what we want to do is, so it's interesting, like now that we've got, now that we've turned these into like sort of Pythonified dates, if we want to get the difference, we can just say return arrival object uh, minus departure object. Um, and that's going to give us this, actually, very interestingly. Um, so basically, once we've turned um, our strings with dates and times into Python objects, then we can actually just manipulate them like this. Or for example, if we wanted to return a Boolean, um, making or ask, trying to um, give information as to whether the arrival is before the departure or after the departure, we could do something like this. So once we have them Pythonified, we can handle them in a very simple way. So now that we've done this in this function, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to say, well, we're just going to print it. We're going to calculate, well, basically this is giving us a difference, right? Arrival departure difference that's returning the difference between the two objects in terms of time. And then we're going to print that to the terminal. Um, but we are also going to um, update our uh, time difference field right here, our time difference text field which is this one right here, okay? So we'll say window, um, well, we'll just copy this just so, actually this is spelled wrong right here. We'll just copy this right here. Um, and we're gonna do update. So we're gonna update the value in there with the uh, difference that we've calculated, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and we'll exit out of our demo application and try to run this and see if there are any further errors. Oh, we need to do window.close actually. All right, there we go. Window.close. Cool. All right, uh, let's go ahead and let's execute this. All right, we've got some problems right here. Um, so it says, listen, season must be integers. Okay, yeah, I'm just missing a comma right there. Cool, let's try that again. Okay, so date of departure, uh, 26. 
then we'll do something like that, and then we'll just calculate difference. And there's an error right there. Okay, so it says int argument must be string, um, not a list right here. Oh, okay, I see what it is. That's the issue right there. It's always parentheses and brackets. All right, cool. Okay, let's go ahead and give that another try. All right, calculate difference. Okay, there we go, eight days. And it looks like two seconds, as we can see right there. All right. Um, so that's basically how we can really simply deal with time in PySimple GUI. Um, if you want more information, I'm actually planning on making another video about how to deal with date and time in Python. But you can look up the date time uh, object or the date time library in Python. Um, that's how all of this gets done. It's not really related to PySimple GUI. PySimple GUI just allows us to display all this lovely data involving time and date. Um, anyways, I hope this tutorial was of use to you. Um, remember that you can actually check out the link to all this code, or you can see all this code on GitHub. Just look for the link in the description. And if you found value in this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Have a nice day.